Hi, I'm Luke Bozerman, the blogger behind the Weekly Holler. One of Appalachia's many claims to fame is its long history of eating raccoons and possums. Now, before you get bent out of shape, allow me to help you understand the history behind this. In fact, I've prepared a brief sock puppet show to help you understand how early frontier settlers viewed animal protein. I hope it makes this subject a little more, well, tasteful. If you lived in the late 18th or early 19th centuries and were carving a homestead out of the untamed wilderness, it's likely that your thought process in regards to meat went something like this. There's folks and there's critters. Usually folks eat critters, but sometimes critters eat folks. It's the circle of life and it fuels us all. I've been thinking about this for a while, and out of respect and curiosity for my heritage, I decided to try eating raccoon. And when it comes to eating raccoon, there's one event in Ohio that is legendary. In February of 1944, Clyde Banbury, a resident of Danville, Ohio, and member of the local Lions Club, scheduled a dinner for his fellow lions to be held in his basement. As a joke, Banbury withheld the menu until his guests arrived, and then revealed that raccoon was the main dish. The Lions Club liked the dinner so much, it was held again the next year. In subsequent years, members of the community wanted to join in, so it was turned into a public event and used as a fundraiser for the Lions Club's charitable work. The dinner has been held for over 70 years now. As the event evolved, speakers were included as part of the program. Most notable include former Governor of Ohio Jim Rhodes and OSU football coach Woody Hayes. At the dinner, over 500 pounds of raccoon is served alongside mashed potatoes, dressing, mixed vegetables, raccoon gravy, cake, and homemade cornbread. It's held every February and I knew that I had to go. There was only one problem. Danville, Ohio is located over an hour northeast of me and the dinner starts at 4.30 on a school day. And from what I hear, the raccoon sells out quickly. As the day of the event approached, I knew it was highly likely that I wouldn't be able to make it to Danville in time. All right, it's four o'clock and I just got done here at school. I still got an hour and 20 minute drive ahead of me and the raccoon dinner starts in half an hour. So hopefully this works out. I'm here at the ATM picking up some cash for the event tonight. They say you can't put a price on a good time, but getting into a raccoon dinner costs $11. All right, guys, I uh, hit some heavy traffic coming out of Columbus. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty late. I'm hoping I can get there in time. I know that they only serve the raccoon for a limited amount of time, so we'll just have to see when I get there. I was just starting to contemplate heading home when I got an unexpected phone call. I've got some great news. My brother-in-law, J. Mark, is from Danville, Ohio. And he just so happens that he's there at the raccoon dinner in line to get some raccoon. He just gave me a call. Wanted to know if, uh, if I wanted him to grab me some while he's there. So he's grabbing me some. You know, there's nothing that says male bonding like splitting a barbecued raccoon with your brother-in-law. With a guaranteed plate of raccoon waiting for me, I put the pedal to the metal. Here's the man. This is the man you can count on to save you some raccoon. Let's go get some, Jamarcus. Here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. Got some cornbread, mashed potatoes, stuffing, green beans, and the raccoon. 
You want to watch me eat this. You know that, right? All right. First bite of raccoon. Not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like squirrel, maybe a little bit of turkey. I think it's like the dark, dark meat of a turkey. Like dark meat turkey. Yeah. Or duck. Duck. Yeah. Duck. Yeah, some of the duck. Pretty lean. All right, guys. Raccoon has the weekly hauler stamp of approval. So according to Google, a raccoon is 51% fat and 49% protein. No carbs for you guys that are on the no carb diet. Pretty high in cholesterol, but so is any gaming food that you'll eat. It's pretty, it's pretty healthy, pretty healthy uh, meat for you. I think it's like rabbit. You couldn't survive on it by itself, but it's definitely a good asset. Danville Raccoon Dinner reminded me of all the things I love about small town America. Friends, family, and neighbors gathering together for a charitable cause and sharing unique and delicious food. I have to say that the raccoon was surprisingly good and I wouldn't hesitate to eat it again. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. As Jeff Foxworthy would say, you might be a redneck if you're counting on your brother-in-law to save you a plate at a raccoon dinner. For more adventures like this, Sign up for our email newsletter at theweeklyholler.com. You can also find The Weekly Holler on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for watching.